What we did was first to have a systems biology type of approach uh, to try to analyze the, all immune cells and all immune parameters that are present within the tumor microenvironment of cancers in, in patients, so in large cohorts of patients. And we focused on analysis on the most uh, important parameters in terms of predicting the survival of the patient, in terms of predicting the recurrence of cancer. Uh, we found out that the adaptive immunity was essential, that cytotoxic T cells and memory T cells and effector memory T cells were essential. And this immunoscore assay is in fact uh, derived from this analysis. It is a simple assay that can be done in routine. Um, and we have um, validated this uh, immunoscore assay. So it's immunohistochemistry based quantification with digital pathology. We have validated this uh, globally with an international consortium in which uh, 23 centers in the world, including Asia, Japan, China, and Europe, many countries in Europe, uh, US, Canada, etc., um, participated, tested the immunoscore on their patients. Uh, and um, uh, the analysis done by an external statistician showed that immunoscore was indeed very powerful to stratify patients into high risk, low risk. Uh, patients and could basically become a marker to uh, uh, um, classify patients uh, and it would be a good marker to be introduced into the classification of cancer.